I got to tell you, this is not your grandfather's MDOT. This MDOT is amazing. You talk about problem solvers, talk about collaborators, talk about being willing to listen to other points of view, come up with creative solutions. Uh, you know, Kurt Steidel runs a great ship at MDOT. Uh, you know, Roger Safford is amazing. Uh, the uh, grand engineer, uh, grand uh, region engineer, uh, and I literally see these guys do miracles. And I think uh, some of you are standing on one of those miracles, the non-motorized pathway, uh, because I, we didn't think that was going to get done. I have seen firsthand how MDOT has really worked with our local communities to, to make this happen. First of all, in and being so sensitive to um, not only the habitat of this area, but also when uh, Native American artifacts were found here, how, what they did to preserve that history. Um, and then also last week when we had the dedication for the Henry Plant non-motorized pathway, they were very, um, oh, just, just what, wonderful to work with and making that entire ceremony and that dedication so meaningful. It, it's good to be here and uh, and recognize that you know and, and hear about the cooperation at the state level, at the federal level uh, to get a project done beyond people's expectations by adding the uh, the side path here and, and and those types of things. You know, too often we're spending way too much time about hearing the things that don't work in government, uh, and it's it's exciting to hear that uh, these folks got the job done. You know, hearing about the economic development and seeing the impact that it's going to have here in West Michigan, I look forward to the day that at the federal level and the state level, they actually get, you know, transportation funding uh, done in a coordinated way so that people can plan on a long-term basis. And we're here today because of decisions that the generation before us put in place. We have a transportation network in this state that was largely planned by our parents. And my challenge to all of us is, what are we leaving for our kids? What's that next piece? Our parents looked out for us. Our parents put this network in place. What are we doing? Are we just using it up? Or are we planning for the future too?